hey what is up guys it's me alpha papa novi and welcome back to the channel it's a pleasure to have you guys on board hope you guys are doing it okay in whatever corner of the world you guys are at with your loved ones whoever that might be mom dad sister boyfriend friend whoever that might be i hope you're doing a okay i am doing a okay and right now it's 9 52 um it's 7 2 2014 and welcome to this video guys um in this video i'm going to be answering jay paul's um kind of like he given ideas or community topic for um actually this was posted on strider so i hope strider doesn't mind that i'm doing this and i'm gonna um i'm gonna give my ideas or my thoughts remember this is just an opinion just my thoughts and nothing more than that so you can feel free to disagree or agree with me we don't need to get hostile with each other on the comments <laughs> and as always remember if you leave ideas or if you want me to talk about it or if you want me to talk about something let me know in the comments and i will most definitely try to talk about it i will most definitely try to make it happen um but as always enjoy the video guys and before we get into the video i do want to mention some things um as you guys i don't know if you guys notice it or if you guys got to watch the first video that I uploaded of Strider and now before before I talk about this um, I do want to ask you guys a big favor if you guys can go to Strider's channel and I mean not a Strider's channel if you guys can click I'm gonna link I'm gonna put this on annotations I'm gonna put it on the description I'm gonna write it as a comment the video that I uploaded um, for Strider to my channel we basically you guys know that we're trying to help each other out we're trying to grow just a little more just a little more um it would be really really nice and cool if you guys can go to that video and give it a like even though if you already watched it and show strider some support because he most he definitely showed me support and i gained like 50 subscribers from his video that he uploaded on his channel so it would be really really cool and really really nice if you guys can go and check this video out and maybe go to his channel and subscribe um you know show him some support he's a really really good commentator and he is one of my favorite commentators he's actually the only commentator i watch at this point um because i did mention before in the past i think in like two videos two videos ago that i don't watch any other commentator because i don't like to be influenced or like for instance if i go and watch any one else commentate on dark souls or watch their gameplay i kind of like want to use maybe the weapon they're using or maybe i want to make a video reply on whatever subject they were talking about and um, most definitely i don't like doing that like i don't want to feel like i'm copying someone or i'm like taking ideas from someone which is not a bad thing taking someone else's idea or talking about someone else's um comment or maybe making a video reply to them it's not a bad but it's just definitely I, w I like to be more original than that i like to come up with my own ideas my own gameplay and all that kinds of fun stuff so i never ask anything from you guys like i never ask you guys to do anything for me you know i guess i do on the end of the video ask if you like the video give it a rating give it a thumb up but this time i'm like asking you nicely if you can please go and give this video a like and if you can please go and check out strider's channel you know go through some of his videos and if you can like give him a subscription that would be really cool you know show him some support if you're subscribed to me and you really do like my stuff um if you can show me some support because by going to his channel or by going to click like on the video that i'm asking you guys that i'm gonna annotate all over the place that would be really cool that would mean the world to me because like i said i gained like 50 subscribers from his channel and i had to re-upload the video the one that i'm gonna link all over the place i don't know if you guys notice it but um basically youtube didn't take it down youtube um i guess because oh man the way youtube has this the way they check for content id claims or copyrights or all that kinds of stuff is like they have bots they have like computers they have programs that do this for them and it's not a human doing it it's a it's a it's a machine it's a computer it's a computer program doing it it's bots so i guess since the way strider and i did this is the strider uploader i uploaded a video to my channel on listed and give him the link and he did the exact same thing with me but the thing that he did different and he didn't have a problem with or youtube didn't um, notice it that it was a video that it was on my channel is that he put his intro and outro on my video that i uploaded i didn't think of this um i don't know it didn't hit me that i just downloaded the video through a downloaded a program that you use to download videos from youtube and as soon as i downloaded it i re-uploaded it to my channel and i, I didn't think it was going to be a problem but um I, like two hours after i have uploaded the video um youtube sent me a message i he i email and then they like 
they said that they needed to prove that the video is mine and they gave me this big form and basically it was just a huge mess guys it was just a huge mess and then i was like wait i think i know why is this happening because i downloaded the video and just re-uploaded it like that i didn't bother to put an intro i didn't bother to edit it. i didn't bother to do anything you know because it was strider's video i didn't think i needed to do anything and since i didn't put an intro i didn't edit it i didn't do anything i just downloaded it and uploaded it. um youtube bots or youtube um whatever they used to um to check that you're not stealing other people's videos or that it doesn't match someone else's video on their channel um i guess the bots noticed that it was the exact same video that strider had on his channel and boom they want me to prove that the video is mine they want all this basically they wanted proofs of like the video is mine and by them asking for proofs then they sent me this big thing like to enter the publisher like the company the name of the company that makes the vid the game and all that kinds of proofs it was like a big thing that i had to fill out the strider did send me a letter or a, like a comment um or a pm he most definitely said that i could use the video that i can upload it on my channel but then they wanted a proofs from from soft like written proofs or written uh, permission from from soft and i don't have that and i panic and i took the video down I, will, I panic i was like oh my god i'm gonna get a strike on my account and i already have one and i just fucking panicked and i took it down <laughs> before i get a strike then i edit it and i put my intro i put my outro and now everything is fine so like i said guys um basically to make the a long story short uh if you can go and like that video and show some support to strider show me some support if you like my stuff that would that would mean the world to me and i would really do appreciate that um so yeah and if you go thank you in advance if you go thank you thank you thank you all you have to do is click the click the link and open it a new tab and just give it a like and i don't know maybe after this video is done you guys can go ahead and check out strider's channel like i said i gained like 50 subscribers from his from his own video that he uploaded on his channel from his from my video that he uploaded on his channel so it'd be really cool if we i don't know i can like how hook him up with i don't know if 20 of you guys could went to go and subscribe to his channel that would be awesome that would be amazing and it would be new it would mean the world to me but anyways let's get right into the um j paul's um questions it's not questions it's more like an idea a topic for us to talk about and like i said this was a comment on strider's channel so i hope um strider doesn't mind because this was a comment on one of strider's videos so i hope he doesn't mind i hope he's cool with me answering this um i wrote in the comment in the same comment i replied to the guy and then i said oh, it would be cool if strider made a video about this too so we can hear the different opinions you know it will be his opinion it will be my opinion and like i said guys before we get into this big debacle or we start arguing or you get offended or anything like this is just opinions this is nothing more now nobody's being hurt nobody's being attacked so yeah it's just gonna be an opinion but anyways let's get right into it jace paul jace paul comments said commentaries ideas number one the difference between dark souls 1 community and dark souls 2 community the reason they are different the difference between dark souls 1 community and dark souls 2 is that when dark souls 1 came out it wasn't a popular game it was just the game that came out and it wasn't that popular it didn't have a lot of pr or yeah pr right like it didn't have a lot of advertisement it was just a game it was just almost like a concept because it came from the, it, it wasn't a concept anymore it was a game that was well established but it came from demon souls but since they couldn't name it demon souls because sony already owned the rights of demon souls and i guess they didn't want to do a demon souls 2 because demon souls 1 didn't so well I don't know i don't know exactly why sony didn't want to do demon souls 2 but it just didn't happen and front software already had the engine front software had everything they had everything they needed i don't know if you guys know but dark souls 2 was based on demon souls engine and the demon souls engine was free because front software already had it so they didn't have to pay anything see that's another thing that a lot of people don't know that dark souls 2 i'm pretty sure everybody knows this that it's based on the same engine but they don't know that it was a free engine that front software already had they didn't have to invest any money on the engine they already had it and the difference between dark souls 1 and dark souls 2 community is that it wasn't that popular so there wasn't a lot of people playing it it wasn't a lot of people bragging about like oh i played the hardest game and i can brag about it and i can tell the world that i beat the hardest game so dark souls 1 it was just an underrated game a really good a really good underrated game it wasn't that popular so there wasn't a lot of people i guess a lot of children playing it I don't want to say children maybe teenagers and we all know that teenagers love bragging rights it's all about the bragging rights right it's all about like hey 
I play Dark Souls, dude. I beat Dark Souls. You you know, if you if you play Call of Duty, if your friend always plays Call of Duty and I play Call of Duty and I'm 16 and I come at you and I'm like, hey, you know what? You Call of Duty new? I beat Dark Souls too. I beat it. I'm a beast. So that right there is bragging. So Dark Souls 1 didn't have that much publicity. Didn't have it had a lot of hardcore fans that came from Demon Souls to Dark Souls. All right. So it wasn't that popular, it wasn't that many teenagers, I guess, playing it. It was just the game that was coming out. I mean, it was already established, but like I said, since they couldn't use Demon's Souls name on Dark Souls 2 because Sony didn't want to make a sequel or a prequel or they just didn't want to make another Soul game. Um, from software took it within their hands and they made Dark Souls and it wasn't a popular game and nobody knew about it. but. It was a really underrated game because it was a really, really good game. And then eventually Dark Souls 1 since everybody live streamed it. And a lot of people saw that there was like, it has hardcore fans. The Dark Souls 1 had like really hardcore fans. I mean, we had an epic name bro making um, lore videos. At the time when Dark Souls 1 came out, it was only epic name bros. It's two people that I know that made lore videos, epic name bro and Quaylags. I'll annotate both of their links on the description so you guys can go and check them out. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about Epic Name. Okay, so Dark Souls 1 wasn't popular. Then, by the time Dark Souls 2 came out, everybody was on it. Everybody wanted it to play it. And the difference, this is the main difference, and I believe this is the main difference, is that a lot of people, or a lot of them are teenagers. They came to the franchise. Dark Souls 2 brought a lot of teenagers, and we all know that teenagers love bragging, right? I mean, when I was a teenager, I loved bragging. So if you play Call of Duty, and I play Call of Duty, and we're both 16, and I get Dark Souls, and I beat it, I'm going to be like, hey, I beat Dark Souls, dude. That's the hardest game in the whole world, and I have the right to brag about it, because I beat it, and you're still playing Call of Duty, the easiest freaking scrubbing game that is out there. They Like, it takes no skills. You pick it up, and you play it. So I guess that Dark Souls 2 has a lot more people. It brought a lot more people that has this big ego they must brag about how hard and how difficult the game is but this is the thing dark souls 2 is not a hard game dark souls 2 was watered down and was dumped down to the max if you play if you play dark souls the original dark souls with no patches no updates if you buy it for the playstation and xbox don't hook it up to the internet just play it with don't download any patches any updates and then you're gonna see the original, the real Dark Souls, the Dark Souls that was released with, it was really hard, it was a really difficult game. I beat it so many times with no patches, no nothing, I even did a run on Soul Level 1. That was a hard game, that was the Dark Souls that I know. Dark Souls 2 is not hard at all, Dark Souls 2 was watered down, so there's really no need to brag. There's really, there's, the bragging rights are not there because it's not a hard game anymore. It's like it was watered down. So there's really nothing to brag about. It's not the hardest game. And so the difference, I think, that Dark Souls 1 had a lot of mature audience, a lot of mature fans. And Dark Souls 2 has a lot of teenagers. I don't want to call them immature. Some of them are mature. Some of them are immature. So I don't want to just... Um, I don't want to say everybody's immature. Um, it has a lot of immature players because from what I know now, they're even interfering interfering with um, the uh, PvE community, which is PvE community, even Epic Name was getting shared that, oh, I could play better than him. Like, he sucks. Like, I can't believe that he'd been playing Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2 and I can do it better. Basically, you guys know how teenagers are, and I mean, there's you can't blame them. It's just how they are. When you were a teenager, you were the exact the same way. You were the exact same way. You were want to brag. You you, you want to brag about like, I do this and I do it better than you. I can do this and I can do that, and I will do it better than you. And it's all about the bragging rights. When you're a teenager, when you're an older, mature man, you they kind of don't care anymore because. When I watch Epic Name, bro, when I watch Rurikan, when I watch someone play Dark Souls 2, I don't watch them because they're good. I, I mean, I, I, I can probably do it better than them, but that's not the point of watching someone play a game. The point of watching someone play a game is entertainment, for the entertainment value, to f just to sit there and have a good time to watch someone play the game you love and give an opinion or talk about different kinds of things that i mean i don't see the point of me going to watch someone play the game and then calling them names or being like hey i could do this better than you dude you, you suck you suck <laughs> what the fuck is that what is the point why are you watching him for if you think that he sucks what exactly are you watching him for anyway so the difference is that dark souls 1 didn't have it wasn't as popular it wasn't like a hype game 
it came out it was like it, it was underrated game like i said and the community was a lot mature a lot mature it was a lot older audience it was a lot older fans dark souls 2 brought a lot of cod players that you know they just like to brag and you can't blame them like i already said like 10 times it's just teenagers that's how teenagers are when i was a teenager i loved bragging but like I said, Dark Souls 2 is not a hard game. It was watered down for casuals. 